All right. What's crack a guys? Welcome back to another episode of Say Talk. I'm Josh Say Talk. You can introduce yourself. You're a big boy. I'm Metty. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> Come sit on daddy's lap. All right. Ah, okay. That's weird. Um, yeah. Hope uh, your week was good. Everything's good? Yeah, man. You? Everything's good, man. Still alive. Beard's nice. looking fierce. Yeah, man. You know what I wonder often at night when I'm laying in bed? Who's Bill Cosby fingering right now? That's what I wonder. <laughs> I'm just, which, uh... It's probably a pudding, ooh, pudding ooh, pop. Pudding pops and stuffs. <laughs> I gotta listen to some more Bill See, Cosby. See, I think something different. I'm wondering, you know, man, he must be making so much money right now, still off of all those old Cosby reruns. Yeah, and reruns. Jello ads. Jello pudding and, uh... <laughs> kids say the darndest things when you finger them oh, when yeah, they're sleeping. Oh, yeah, he was sleeping. in that, too. Yeah, he was the host of that. Yeah. Wow. Um, I saw something that said that the, the Friends cast uh, each make $20 million a year wow. on royalties um, wow. from Friends. I believe it. That's People love Friends. Fucked. People love Friends. Ugh. Did you see that Jennifer Aniston thing, by the way, where she's not going to be... She's like, I've cut certain people out of my life who aren't vaccinated. Like, really? This guy? Yeah, really? Yeah. She said that, right? Wow. Yeah. So, well. <laughs> yeah. So no one told you it was going to be this way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> Fuck you. Um so obviously she's an epidemiologist as yeah, well. Exactly, right? yeah, knows, yeah, exactly. She knows the, the truth. waitress from Friends. Right. The, right, right, right. <laughs> Fuck. She knows central perky nipples. Yeah, true. Jesus. That's weird. Um Simon Cowell, you know, he hurt himself on the electric uh Oh yeah? Did you hear about this? No. He, no. He, no see this joke's not gonna land then. Uh <laughs> Simon Cowell's favorite movie is Broke Back Mountain. Cause he, he broke his back on an electric bicycle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this motherfucker was trying to impress his kid, and he, he broke his neck or back. When on did a this happen? Scooter. Like last year. Really? Okay. He had to sit right. the rest okay. of the season of AGT. I, I bet, was, yeah. yeah. Uh, so speaking of AGT, I was watching America's Got Talent last night, and Terry Crews, <laughs> my favorite, love him. Terry Crews introduces this 10-year-old boy, uh, this little uh, Peter Rosalita, this little Filipino uh, singer okay. who's got an amazing voice. But Terry Crews introduces this kid, and he goes, uh, you know, at first, this kid was very shy, but then he blew me, the judges, the <laughs> audience, and all of America away <laughs> and i was like man what a weird way to phrase that terrence are you not able to say then he blew us all away with his amazing voice yeah. but he literally like he slow rolled us he was like and then oh, he man. blew me the chase motherfuckers making a list the judges <laughs> all the audience all 3400 america people, all of america all 331 million <laughs> americans too even the women he blew yeah he blew, just sucked their clit a little and then he's saying like an angel. I'm like, Terry, you need to learn diction, bro. Yeah. Like not, well, I yeah, mean, yeah, true. not that's a well. weird way to say that, but you know, with his huge cock. Uh, I'm still waiting for the vax, Terry. Yeah. Still waiting for the I vax. I heard they're doing uh, ah! America's Got Talent Canada, or Canada's Got Talent, rather. Canada's Got Talent, yeah. yeah. Are you going to go and do something? Yeah, and just do some stand-up. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure they'd yeah. love it. Yeah. I'm sure they'd love my <laughs> podcast, Matt. I'm sure they would. I'm sure I'll, I'll. I hope Terry's the host. I'll be like Terry. I have an idea for a vaccine. For it. you guys should check out my podcast. And I'm sure I would just. They're winning. Golden buzzer. Golden shower buzzer. Yeah. Um, I would audition. Um, unfortunately, I don't oh, have man. any skills. Yeah. True. Like I got nothing, man. Um, like I couldn't put together five minutes of clean comedy. <laughs> that would be appropriate. That would be funny. Not a clean comic. So I was watching the movie Mercury Rising. Have you seen this? With Bruce Willis. It's an old movie. It sounds very familiar. Alec Baldwin. Alex Baldwin. Alec Baldwin? Alec Baldwin, Alec, yeah. No, X, right? Yeah. Uh, Alec Baldwin. And then the little autistic kid who cracks, like, the government code. They post the code in, like, a, okay. in, like, a crossword puzzle or something by accident. Or to see if people can crack it. And then the kid cracks it. Anyways, so it's about uh, this little autistic kid who's not autistic, it's an actor, and it, he says such, it's so painful to watch this little boy hmm. pretend to be autistic. Yeah. So, 
speaking of movies that would never fly right now, uh, <laughs> Alec Baldwin's giving shit to the code writers for putting this in uh, this magazine. And he goes, not only is he nine years old, he's also handicapped. He's autistic. And then he says, uh, so, and then they're like, well, autism is actually like a, a form of savant. Like they can blah, blah, blah. And then Alec Baldwin says, so what? You mean our $2 billion code is an open book for people with diminished capacity? <laughs> diminished capacity! <laughs> wow! What a pleasant way of saying yeah. your kid sucks. Yeah. Diminished capacity. And then later on, there's like cops talking about, because uh, eventually the, the code people kill the parents of the little autistic boy. And uh, one of the cops says, ah, oh, don't worry. Uh, the neighbors say the kid's retarded. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is a movie from like 94, 95, yeah, yeah. 96. Ah, oh, don't worry, Bill. The neighbors say the kid's retarded. Yeah. Retarded. Yeah. Hard R. This makes all those movies even better now. It's, it's so like, much oh, better to watch so it so much now. rewatch value now. I gotta watch all Austin those movies Powers where they're again. censored, all those 90s movies. That's the golden era, basically, of movies. And then 2000s, there was some of that. Soft. 2010s, it just started to soft. decay and get very soft. And, and now, now we're making now movies we're... with gay cowboys kissing each other. <laughs> Fuck, guys. That was a hard movie to masturbate to. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. But I finished. Couldn't finish the movie. Yeah. But I finished. Yeah. Rest in peace. 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 Rest, peace. In rest in peace. 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 Ledger. <laughs> rest in peace. Ledger. Rest in peace. Ledger. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, Afghanistan. Ooh. Man. Yeah. It's not looking no bueno. good. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I saw videos in Afghanistan <laughs> recently and uh, it disgusts me. Like at the presidential palace, it's disgusting what's going on there. Nobody was wearing masks. <laughs> Nobody was socially distanced. <laughs> like, do they not know that people are dying? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, people are dying yeah, from I this know, pandemic. seriously, yeah. I saw these these dudes. They had no masks, and I'm like, oh. And they're running, trying to Screaming, jump oh, on. No, 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 no. no, no, no. yeah, yeah like, they fuck, were. Yeah, yeah, they were. But they you're were breathing, trying to jump you're... onto the uh, the landing gears of the planes. And I'm nice. like, oh, these guys don't take their safety seriously. Like, they're not wearing masks. No, they're not masks. How do we up. know if they're vaccinated? Yeah, they're not vaccinated. Like, they don't realize how dangerous it Are is. Are you vaccinated? You know? Yeah. I know they're trying to jump onto the, you know, these moving cargo planes onto the landing gears, right? right? You're so not they Bruce can, Willis. They can you're not going to pull that. They're not Tom Cruise either. This isn't Mercury yeah. Rising. They're you're not, not Tom Cruise that. 30 years ago. They're not Tom Cruise today. Like, they're not going to be able to hold on. No, Mission Impossible. Um. They don't eat pork, so they're malnourished. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, it's lots of protein. Lots of protein. Lots of protein in that pork. Yeah, not a good time to be in Afghanistan. Just in the Middle East in general. I lived in Israel, and it's just not a place you just want to exist. Yeah, true. In the Middle East, a lot yeah. of places. Haiti, throw. Yeah, Haiti's um, a throw. Yeah, yeah. Don't hate on it. Mm. Don't Haiti the player. Haiti the game. Yeah. <laughs> Haiti the fucking geographical location. Yeah. Just bad luck. Um. Yeah. Uh, and now we're accepting like tens of thousands of, of Afghani refugees, which is awesome. But it's like for the, for so long the borders were closed, and now we're just taking. Pe- I guess they're all going to be tested and shit like that. I have no idea how probably it works. Probably not. But, uh, yeah. Probably not. Just <laughs> come, come, yalla, yalla. That's Canada. It's like you come on, just you're in. Yalla. You're in. I mean, the Arabs. At least they wear those. Do you buttons. have a pulse? Can right. we tax you? Come on in. You're in. Come on in. You're in. Do you have money? <laughs> come on in. So speaking of coming and things, uh, Eminem's kid, I'm not sure what it is, so I, I'm just going to say kid. It's not a kid. I think it's 19. Eminem's kid just came out as non-binary. Haley? Not Haley Jane. Not Haley. No. Okay. Uh, Stevie Lane is its name. Um, looks like it was born a girl, but now it's non-binary, I guess. Do you know? Cause, and it, it just came out as this. Do you know how Eminem found out? He was cleaning out his closet. Uh. Oh, he came out of the closet? <laughs> Come on! I'm sorry, mama! I'm sorry, papa. I'm non-binary. Boop, beep, boop, boop. When I hear non-binary, I just think of that. Boop, beep, boop, yeah, ha, it's ha, true. Boop, boop. Yeah, it's so what? true. What's yeah. non-binary? Non-binary. Uh. What does that mean? Is that Pythagorean's theorem? Non-binary. Yeah. Like, I don't you, you understand. Need a new, we need a new mathematical equation to figure it out. Yeah, 3.14. Yeah. Pi? Josh Satok was a wise professor at right. mathematics, and right. he figured <laughs> like out non, the, the, non, code he, the code for non-binary. He hacked it. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was in a fucking the back of a puzzle book in Mercury Rising. <laughs> I hired an autistic kid. I, I cracked the code. I hired some retarded kid, and he figured out the non-binary code right away there. It's real, you're a real smart fella. Uh, speaking of coming out of closets... Another shirtless Elliot Page picture. Really? Is wow. this necessary? Elliot, you just okay. Put your tits away, Elliot. Yeah. I was born a guy, and yeah. I have less shirtless pics online <laughs> than Elliot does. Like it's it's weird, yeah. bro. It's weird. So, <laughs> is Elliot on uh, OnlyFans? Does Only Elliot fans. have an OnlyFans? Yeah. I mean, Ugh. he's missing out on opportunities to make you know some easy cash on OnlyFans. Justin Bieber looking picks. motherfucker. It's weird, yeah. dude. It's weird. Yeah. So first of all, okay, so Elliot Page. So Elliot, Ellen Page, because let's be serious. We know what's happening. Ellen Page is 34, okay? She becomes a he, and all of a sudden, this motherfucker looks like he's 22. Yeah. Okay? And all of a sudden has abs. <laughs> Ellen Page didn't have abs. I don't understand. Like, when you pay the doctor for the, for the switch, yeah. do they build you abs? Like, is this a thing? Ellen Page didn't have abs. Why does Elliot Page have abs? Yeah, it's so does weird. Does Elliot yeah. Page send dick pics? Wow. Does Caitlyn Jenner send dick pics? Oh, probably. What's going yeah. on downstairs yeah. there? <laughs> Speaking of cleaning out closets. <laughs> um, so I was watching Jerry Maguire recently. <laughs> doing a lot of movie shitting on yeah. Watching Jerry Maguire recently, and it's, it's really not that great of a movie. It's okay. Cuba Gooding Jr. crushes it. He, he, he slaps with his dick. But uh, it's not really a great movie. First of all, Renee Zellweger is very strange looking. Yeah. She's, she looks like she's almost got Bell's palsy. Like, yeah, she's got true. some weird fucking facial, <laughs> facial shit going on. She, like very fish looking, yeah. like very strange looking woman. She's supposed to be 26 in the movie. She looks like she's 46, first of all. Tom Cruise looks the same. <laughs> was she the one who got like crazy amounts of plastic surgery yeah, and looks, looks like really fucking, weird? She, she looks, looks completely like Jenner, different. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, Caitlyn Jenner is actually yeah. Renee Zellweger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and now she looks like a beast. A lot of them look like beasts. Um, <clears throat> so there's a scene in Jerry Maguire where they, they clearly want to smash each other and they're standing on her porch, but it's her sister's place. <laughs> so they're standing on her sister's porch and it's like a three, four minute scene um of uh of them like making out but it's so awkward they and it's like the cheesy like 90s music mm -hmm. and tom's like kissing first of all he breaks her dress he snaps the strings on her dress and goes oops and the motherfucker <laughs> this is a three thousand dollar dress are you kidding me like so on he, purpose yeah like oops wow and he's like staring at her and then he starts kissing her neck and he's kissing like, wow. you know, and he's like kissing her cheeks and shit. And her pussy's just exploding. It's like, <laughs> um, and he, at one point, he goes below camera level and drops down out of sight for like a good 20 seconds or so. And she does the like, uh, and I'm like, is he eating porch pussy? Like yeah. they're on her sister's <laughs> front porch. It's like in a residential neighborhood. Is he, what's he doing? Licking her belly button? Like, what could he possibly doing, be doing down there? It makes no sense. Yeah. And then he rises. And then, again, it was like, it was like a five-minute <laughs> porch makeout scene. I'm like, she's got kids. Her kid's inside. Yeah, and they're then, right there. And then she's like, do you want to come inside? <laughs> what? I just wasted five minutes of foreplay on this yeah, porch with yeah. you. <laughs> of course I want to come inside. <laughs> Your weird mouth. Like, what? You're gonna, after all that? He was like, yes, all my porch pussy eating worked. Now she's going to allow me to fuck her next to her kid sleeping in, my, in her sister's house. Such a weird scene. <laughs> Such a weird scene. Like, what is The 90s were crazy, bro. The 90s, the 90s was a hell of a time. So good. Now you try uh, to lick porch pussy? She's like, excuse me, are you kidding me? Do you know? Oh, my God. Um, it was so weird. Very weird. Um, <laughs> Can't believe that was a scene. Guys playing oh, man. volleyball in jeans and licking porch pussy. Like, Tom was slaying it yeah, in the 90s. Crushing it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Show me the money. Licking porch pussy. God damn, Tom. 
Um, I did mushrooms last night and oh, I yeah? watched uh, wow, Mortal nice. Kombat. Oh wow! Which one though? The, the, the new, new one. one? Yeah. Okay, all right. I actually did uh, many moons ago in okay. high school with uh, uh, with Kyle. Nice. He's, he's dead, so I guess yeah. I can R. throw R. him under the bus. R.I.P. Yeah. 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 Uh, rest, rest, yeah. Peace. He's uh, Rest he's in peace, yeah, yeah. Um, he's he, he's a fan watched, of the show. He's a fan of the he show. He loves it. Yeah, he's he watching it up it. there. Yeah, he's, yeah. Lo- he's loving it. Up I'm there. sure he lives yeah. above me. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my popcorn ceilings. These are gross. I don't like popcorn ceilings. Anyways, um, we watched uh, the original Mortal Kombat on fucking acid on his gigantic TV in his basement, and it took us like to a magical realm. Mm. Uh, Mortal Kombat was cool. I the, the like one. the very first Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. that time. Okay, wow. With like the proper Shang Tsung, like with like, <clears throat> yeah, and like Goro, nice. like the animatronic Goro it was yeah, like a okay. tall dude with the thing on his yeah. like. It was so fake looking. Claymation yeah, when he was so, moving. So gay, yeah. <laughs> so janky. Uh, no, the new one was pretty sick, man. I was uh, I was pretty hard for a bit, but uh, it was cool. I liked it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to make fun of in that movie. Really? Um, yeah. There was no. Nothing to make Porch fun of. Porch pussy eating scene. <laughs> Shang Sun. Maybe the original one has. Probably the original one has some stuff like that in it potentially. Maybe it would have. Some, I'm sure it's make funnable. Yeah, because yeah, it's from the 90s. Yeah, yeah, some fucking like racist or offensive shit yeah. towards Sonya or like yeah. some yeah. extremely sexist right. things. Right. Oh, you can't do it. You're a. What are you retarded? <laughs> hey, what are you retarded? Um. So I do say lots of offensive shit. So just so everyone knows, there are two Josh Satox in Toronto. Yeah. So if anyone tries to kill me, make sure you get the right yeah, one. Yeah, it's true. Because there are two of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. He does like volunteer shit and stuff. So. No, no, you're the nice guy. This I'm the nice yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. This right. isn't. You know, I'm the nice yeah, one. Sometimes he sneaks on to this show and. Yeah. I bring comedy into people's lives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In a time yeah. where. In a time where everyone's so serious. So sensitive. Everyone's uh, the Joker from Dark Knight. I want to suck Caitlyn so Jenner's dick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Jesus. All right. That's a weird thing to say. All right. So speaking of sucking dicks, <laughs> I got to say, and I don't like to be too political, and I don't, we don't talk too much about COVID, even though it ruined my life. Um, it's very phallic, a lot of the terminology. Like, am I crazy or no? Yeah. Fucking jab. Yeah. Poke, surge in cases, yeah. explosion in cases, <laughs> get your jabs and your pokes, otherwise I'm going to surge all over your ex- cases, <laughs> explosion of cases, <laughs> very gay guys, <laughs> super gay, like, just keep your fucking jabs and pokes out yeah. of my face. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so Israel is 80% vaccinated, fully vaccinated, and they're having another surge. I'm not a scientist, but is it possible yeah, it might, yeah. that the vaccines are working? might be working? possible. <laughs> could be possible. I mean, are we going to, you know, just as a thought experiment here. I mean, is, I'm is not a epidemiologist. A possibility, but... yeah. It seems like... Uh, I am a Jew, yeah. which makes me like one-third doctor. Yeah. yeah. A part, mostly gynecologist. You know what? Though. Because you're you're Jewish, right? And because eight, Israel is eighty percent vaccinated, oh. you're eighty percent vaccinated. Because yeah, you're my, Jew. by default, yeah, by, by default, diffused, by osmosis. Why, why not? Yeah. Why not? Right. So what's the other twenty percent? Palestinians. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe the vaccines aren't working. So I have a customer uh, at work that. Uh, hang on, let me finish my beer. There you go. Love it. So I have a customer uh, who uh, I know uh, through a friend of a friend. So we shoot the ship and uh, he's Israeli and uh, his dad is a scientist. So we were talking about masks and how I can't wait to take this, these fucking panties off my face and they don't do anything. And uh, I asked the question, and he said, oh, I can ask my dad. And I go, oh, nice. Is your dad like a doctor or something? And he goes, yeah, my dad's a microbiologist. And I'm like, okay. He uh, specializes in antibiotics, but obviously uh, all the microbiologists and scientists have been pulled towards COVID now because it's not a real thing, and they need to make it look cool. So he's been working on COVID. He's actually with Dr. Isaac Bogach, and he does all these fucking uh, meetings and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I asked I said to this guy, like, I'm like, so I don't know how they're labeling this as all Delta variants because the standard PCR test, the standard COVID brain jab test, jab, brain jab, 
jabbing brains and jabbing arms. Um, the standard test doesn't test for variances. It doesn't test for the markers in different mm -hmm. COVID strains. It just tests for general SARS or a COVID, whatever. So I say this to him, and he's like, he writes it down, and he's like, I'll ask my dad. And I was like, wow, that was hot. That's the hottest thing. I, my dad's a fucking, he's a great guy, but he's not a scientist that I can ask yeah. questions yeah. to. I have to be double vaxxed before I can go see this fucking yeah, retard. Exactly. And yeah. he's double vaxxed. <laughs> Well, we're not letting anyone come see me until yeah, we're double. Yeah. But you're double vaxxed. You're double yeah, vaxxed. but I can still get yeah. it. Then why did you get the vaccine? Yeah, we have all these. <laughs> yeah, there's so many barriers now that just so many between humans. And your thought process, yeah. guys. That's part of the social distancing, right? That's part of the social distancing. It's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm double vaxxed, but I still can't see you because right. of this social distancing. It's, right. it's like being so Terry stupid. Cruz's yeah. big black dick and hiring like security. Like you're a huge black guy. What are you getting security for? Like yeah. it, it, the vaccine is supposed to be peace of mind. If you're vaccinated and are afraid of yeah. people that are vaccinated, you're stupid yeah. or unvaccinated. I showed you're you that stupid. email that I got from Uber Eats, right, right. in April, where they have partnered with the government and Uber is emailing their entire list. And I work in, like, I work in digital marketing, right? So you know, I understand it's sending important. emails and partnering with, yeah, exactly, and partnering with yeah. you know businesses to get more reach. So, you know, I'm sure Canada, like, they're like, who has the biggest, one of the biggest email lists in Canada? And they're like, boom, it's definitely Uber. So they basically gave Uber money to email them being like, hey, vaccines are safe, right? And we just right. read it off before, remember? And it's like, yeah, you know, they prevent it, right? And we're like, no, okay, it no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Yeah, there's cases. surges in cases. Fucking exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, but, it, you know, it's, it's a I weird really time trust, we live in. I really yeah. trust Muhammad, my yeah. Uber driver, to yeah. be fucking practicing safe yeah. COVID, uh, COVID protocols. Half Half of the... Uh, Uber drivers uh, uh, are from India, like fresh yeah. Delta variances. So, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Tom Cruise actually recently partnered with Uber, and it's called Uber Eats Porch Pussy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> show up, and just some hot guy comes out and makes out <laughs> comes makes out with you on your porch, the sister's porch, and eats your pussy. Um, yeah, the whole uh, yeah the whole vax thing. So, I asked this guy. So the guy comes in the next day and he's like, I asked my dad, doesn't even buy anything. And I was like, I was like, nice. And he's like, yeah, I asked my dad. And he's like, uh, and in his Israeli accent, which I can't do very well, not good with accents. He goes, oh, the pudding pops and stuff. <laughs> oh. So I'm really bad at Israeli accents. He's like, uh, yes, I asked my father, father and he says uh, that the standard, eh, whatever, the standard PCR test doesn't test for variances. And that's about 80% of the tests. The only time they test for a variance or do the secondary test, which tests for those markers, is uh, if you're vaccinated and you're hospitalized or you're just hospitalized in general or for like certain employment or for, you know, airport, certain things where it's like sketchy, they might do the secondary test. But for the majority of the COVID tests being administered, the shoppers drug mart ones, <coughs> the ones at airports, the standard ones across the fucking mm -hmm. country... Do not test for variant markers. So basically, anyone now that tests positive for COVID, their labeling is a Delta variant. Yeah. <laughs> because Matt, without the Delta-driven fourth wave, yeah, that's true. How are we, we going to get to the Epsilon? Exactly. Um, we can't get to the fifth wave if we don't go through the fourth wave, it's, right? It's like, the fifth wave. I can't duh. wait for the fifth wave. And we can't wave. get to the sixth if we don't go to the fifth. We all know this. It's very simple, right? We need to keep going into these waves, waves. of craziness. I can't wait for craziness. the 13th wave. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, uh, well, oh my God, you know what the song should be? It should be wave after wave, <laughs> wave after wave, slowly drifting, drifting away. <laughs> wave after wave. <laughs> is that going to be Trudeau's fucking yeah, election totally, song? Yeah, that is his thing. <laughs> or yeah, just it's wave the after final wave, yeah. countdown, mini me, me. Um, it's so silly. Yeah, so I was like, so what you're telling me is that your scientist microbiologist father is saying that I'm right. And he was like, yeah. And I was yeah. like, okay, I don't even know what to yeah. say now. Yeah. I was expecting you to be wow. him to be like, there no, yeah, all the markers and things yeah. are right and everything makes sense. And he was like, yeah, no. Uh, You're a level 10 sciencer. So now you I'm are... not only a practicing gynecologist, but I'm also part Ooh. epidemiologist. Ooh. Darn. Dr. Isaac Bogach, if you're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I know Tom Cruise, and he'll come and eat your pussy. Wow. 
Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, we've gotten ourselves uh, as a society into this situation, and uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult to get it get. We're going to need out. Terry Crews. I think there'll dick. be. A, do you think there'll be another lockdown in Toronto? I'm like pretty sure there's going to be another lockdown at some point in. in and the then winter, you know what? And winter? then you know what? And then you know what the other song is? Is after wave after wave? It's uh, you keep my city locked down, <laughs> love locked down. You keep me all locked down. Don't go out. You keep me no no down, no no down. You lose, you lose. <laughs> Sponsored by Kanye West. Oh um, man. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> how many lock? How many lockdowns does it take till the oh. people start to murder the politicians? Yeah, seriously. Oh man. <laughs> If they close barber shops again, I think barbers are going to start uh, blowing up buildings. Yeah, it's, it's like true. it won't yeah. be Muslims anymore. Yeah. It's just, uh, well, it was a, he was a barber. Uh, he's been unemployed for four, 48 months. Yeah. Another lockdown. I really, ugh, I mean, I, I really, I hope they lock down again because I am an essential service and you're digital. And then it'll give more yeah. people time to listen to our podcast. <laughs> um, I sell weed, motherfuckers, so it doesn't matter, man. I ain't seasonal. Everyone needs weed. I also saw an article that says, you're vaccinated, but your friend refuses. Oh, how wow. safe are you hanging out with them? Wow. And I thought, how about you just stop being such a fag? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Wow. They really want to separate people. Such drive, a division. Yeah. The worst drive side, a wedge between people. The worst side effect of the vaccine is being a pretentious yeah. kind. Yeah. Eh? And then the division between families. Like, it's dividing yeah. me and my only surviving uh, family member, my father yeah. and my stepmother. It's dividing us. Uh, it's a vision of friends, coworkers. Luckily, my coworkers and I were all on the same page. Even if people are vaccinated, everyone's cool. But like, yeah, it's a real division of people. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I wonder how Mary Kate and Ashley are doing. I wonder if Ooh. one's vaxxed and one's not. <laughs> wow, you're, you're a fucking wow. bitch, Mary Kate. Fuck you, Ashley. You're a whore or something. Mm. I think that was the most yeah, relative true. impression that I've done so far. <laughs> that was probably the closest. That was very to good. That, that was very so good. Far. I give it a nine point two out of ten. Nine point two. Yeah, nine point two. Right. Solid. Let's get away from COVID for a second. All right. So, Max Berry, twenty-two, duct taped to a seat on Frontier Airlines flight to Miami because he groped the staff. Okay, there's been a lot of like duct tapings recently. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like UFO settings, duct tapings on planes. People are losing their minds, and the whole yeah. mask thing. It's like just yeah. don't be a cunt. Wear a mask. If you have to wear a mask. Wear a mask. It's not that bad. Like fuck. But there are people that live with Siamese twins. There's another human attached to you. You can wear a mask for fucking three hours to fly from Miami to Tulsa to beat your wife. You stubborn fuck. Anyways, so uh, this guy's duct taped, and then he issues a statement. Uh, saying how it ruined his life. He lost his job and blah, 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 because it embarrassed him and he issued a statement. Hmm. And uh, okay. you're an idiot. Yeah. Don't grope people. Yeah. Don't, why, are you, why were you groping someone? So, so third, he didn't get kicked off because he didn't have no, a mask? He got, he got kicked off because he groped some flight they were attendant? In flight, and then he it was maskless, <clears throat> and then he groped a flight attendant, and then people ducked him okay, in the right. seat. So there was I mean, also... Like, he I did mean, kind of it. sexually harass. Yeah, or, 100%. Yeah, what a piece of shit. 100%. Yeah. Duct tape his ass. So there was also a 13-year-old boy. He put out a statement. He put a statement, like, complaining, this ruined my life, and I'm, 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 I'm a nice guy, and I made a mistake. And, no, But you're you. not a nice guy. No, like, you're a groper. Thing. Yeah, you're yeah. a groper. Doesn't exactly. matter. If you yeah. grope someone against their will, you're always an yeah, asshole. Exactly, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Unless they're unconscious, Bill Cosby, uh, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. So a 13-year-old boy duct taped to a seat on an American Airlines flight from Maui because uh, he tried to kick out the window. <clears throat> so I said, is this a new sport? Uh, airplane seat duct taping? <laughs> you know what we need to start hiring? We need to start hiring Cody from the cow choking. Nice Cody Whiteman. You just need Cody Whiteman. <laughs> you just need one dude from Alberta on every flight, and he'll just come exactly, up behind him yeah. and choke him out quickly. <laughs> just, oh, he's out, he's out. U.S. Marshal Cody yeah, and just chokes him yeah. up. Cody White Man. U.S. Marshal Cody, Mar Cody, Cody White Man. White Man. He just chokes him out. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, what are we duct taping oh, people man. for? That could be a movie, honestly, and it would better be better than ninety nine percent of the movies today. Which like uh, th- just th- something, th- yeah. Th- to you, it's uh, like snakes on a plane, it's but instead you have like choking Cody White Man. They're too they're too, <laughs> they're too wet. Cody White Man, choking terrorists. No, what's the uh, train? It's not the three ten to Yuma. It's the three ten to Paris. For something to Paris. Uh, train to train to. Wow, I'm confusing two movies, but it's, yeah, it's the, yeah, the train. Yeah. The U.S. soldiers are on a train okay. in Paris, and this fucking oh, uh, pulls out a fucking AK, and they rush him, and it, luckily the gun jams, and they beat the shit out of him, mm. and then they were like decorated heroes, and they were uh, uh, met Obama, and blah blah blah. They made a movie about it. You haven't seen it? No, I it's a cool movie. That. Okay. Only watch the last. Is it 15 like three ten to Iwo Jima? Is that no, it? no, no, okay. no Iwo Jima. <laughs> okay. No, it's not three ten to Yuma. That's the train with Christian Bale too. Okay. It's the train to Paris. Something okay, something like Paris. that. Not okay. from Paris with right. love. That's the movie with yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Travolta. <laughs> Listen, the guys that did this, they know who okay. they are. Yeah, they know the name of right, the movie. Right, nice. Yeah, they took down this. These three buddies took Sweet. down this uh, terrorist on a train, and prevented like potentially hundreds of deaths. Um, I don't know where I was going with this, but that's cool, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with no. it either, to yeah. be honest, but uh, I think we were done oh, with see, that. Oh, see, Cody. Yeah. We need a Cody. Cody on every... Yeah, the Cody oh, on the plane. Cody, yeah. come up Cody you, on the plane. Out. That's the movie, Cody, Cody on the plane. Cody on the plane. <laughs> no, but we, they need to know. That might be part two, right? Because we need to establish the character of Cody White Man in the first right. one. Well, I'll so. come from Alberta, and yeah, I'll exactly. start choking cows, yeah. and they're like, Cody, you'll never be... Your arms aren't big enough to That's the movie. They have some like douche on a plane sexually harassing women, and and like, and then at some point he does thing. that, and they duct tape him, but he breaks out and he has a gun, and then he shoots the U.S. Marshal, right? right. But Cody Whiteman is there, yeah. and then he has to step in. Chokes him. Yeah, exactly. And then you know he chokes him, but then he escapes somehow randomly, and then Cody has to choke and give him the final choke. Final choke. You're final making choke me do out. this. Yeah. I don't exactly. want to do this. Exactly. The final. He, but he saves the day ultimately. Yeah. Ultimately. <laughs> That's. Oh, man. And he's reunited with his pet yeah. baby cow when he gets home. Oh, man. Yeah, he that's stops the thing. choking yeah, cows exactly, and starts yeah. choking Muslims. Oh. He jo- joins the Muslim choking league. Wow, okay. Uh, the uh, MCL. <laughs> it's a very elite group of the uh, Part two, Alberta though, military. <laughs> part two, though, is he is the U.S. Marshal, though, in the right, sequel. He, gets hired, he yeah. is, yeah, because they're like, wow, Cody White, man, you're the best U.S. Marshal of all time. Right. You saved America. Like, you... Cody you, White, man. You are, you're officially U.S. Marshal because you're better than all them. And he's like, yeehaw, I'm doing it. hi <laughs> Cody White, man. Don't forget to check. And then Samuel L. Jackson comes out. I'm sick of all these baby cows on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> Cody's like, I'm here, Sam. Just choking cows. Mm! Mm! <laughs> Tarted. <laughs> Uh, biggest ripoff in food history, onion rings. True. It's so true. Biggest ripoff yeah. in food history. But they taste so good. I'm not a big onion fan, really? but I can eat onion rings yeah. because it's just batter. Yeah. I got, I ate an onion ring the other day. No onion. It was what? just a, a <laughs> batter circle. I was like, okay. It's like, you know, the A&W ones, the A&W ones are so much batter. Are they? Batter, yeah. better yeah, or batter? So much batter. Batter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, both, I think, yeah. Uh, onions, it's like the highest markup for margin yeah. ever. Yeah. What does an onion Same cost? with potatoes, too. Potatoes, potatoes is not potatoes that much. Potatoes have, yeah. like, have girth, have some sort of... Yeah, those, they're nothing. just fluffing it up, fluffing it up, basically. Just making, yeah. Onions do nothing. It has no nutrition. Yeah. Uh, onion rings, biggest ripoff on earth. Uh, I imagine <laughs> that crossing borders... Like 300 years ago would have been so much easier. Oh, man. Even so when much I easier. know I've done nothing wrong yeah. and I'm tr- either flying or land borders, uh, as soon as I reach the fucking U.S. Customs agent, I feel like I've got a key of heroin stuck in my ass. Like, I know I'm doing nothing wrong. It's just like a passport. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I have my passport. <laughs> it's like, well, I get so weird. Um, and they know it and they yeah. fuck with you. Yeah, it's true. They really do, man. Yeah. I went, was trying to, I think I was flying to fucking, uh, Vegas and we did fucking mushrooms the night before and we were, I didn't sleep and I'm about to go to Vegas for four days and lose myself and we did mushrooms. So I got no sleep and it was like 5 a.m. flight. Oh, so man. I'm there and I'm such a sketch ball oh, and man. I walk up to the fucking Harry Cruz, the big black fucking... <laughs> Uh, a customs oh, agent, no. and he goes, passport, and I show it to him, and he's just like, uh, does the stare, and he just stares at me, and it was like, 
felt like three hours. It was probably 30 seconds. He's just looking at me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, boy. And I'm just, like, looking up, looking down. I'm oh, yeah. smiling like a lunatic. Like, I think I blew a kiss at one point. I'm like, oh, I look like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and he's like, show me your arms. And I'm like, huh? So I put my hands up. And he's like, no, show me your arms. So I put my arms down. And he was checking for track marks. Okay. And I was like, and now I'm like fucking full sweat, like a pedophile in a nursery school. Like I'm losing it. I'm like, uh -huh. and he does the stare again. And he's staring at my arms and he goes, you can put your arms down. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I throw my arms down beside me. And I guess when I handed him my passport, it, my hands were sweaty. And he's like, it's wet. Is this wet? And he made me wipe my pass passport off on my jeans whole thing was so peculiar and then he was like have a nice trip and then i and i was like did this really happen and my buddy is like he because he sees me getting grilled yeah. he's like i'm out he's already on the plane he's like fuck this it's motherfucker like, whatever if he gets fuck on guy, who yeah. cares? i'm going to vegas who cares yeah i'm going if he comes like, you're cool, fucking with not, me for I'm no cool. reason it's like the guy it's like they're waiting it's like there's cameras and they're waiting in line and yeah. they're like okay he's coming he looks tweaked out fuck around with this guy this guy's on his way. I always get stopped, though, for some reason. Whenever I go through. Oh, you're, you're you know, when they randomly. No, but even pre-long hair and, and pre-beard. Right. I would still. They would always pull me over. And I would always know it. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to go through. The benefit, though, is when they do pull you aside, you get to skip such a long line. So I'm like every time hoping they're going to pull me aside because I have nothing to hide. And they look through right. all my shit. And then you get to skip a long line most of the time. So that's the main benefit. Yeah. Nice. Because you're white. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're Muslim, That's why. It's like yeah. three hours. Yeah, you exactly. miss your flight. Right now with my beard, uh, I mean, they're probably going to stop me. Yeah, they're probably going to stop me. What incel yeah. are you? What yeah. part of the fucking tribe are you? Yeah. Uh, all of our agents sound Texan, apparently, or something. <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore. So, yeah, crossing borders now sucks. I bet 300 years ago, it was like, just like a dude with a stick. Yeah, like A British true. dude with a stick. Like, hello. Yeah. Like, yeah, just heading over there. I'm like, oh, yeah. all right, enjoy yourself. <laughs> All that joke just for that <laughs> for that lead up <laughs> I was should have done better. Uh, <coughs> you know what's crazy? When women have kids, they always know they're the mother. It's not the same for men. Yeah, true. Like if I had a kid with a woman, yeah, I'm secretly taking Are hair my kids? from that yeah. i need a paternity <laughs> test i would need to know just like mark anthony <laughs> du, du, du. i need to know i need to know tell me baby girl because i need to yeah. know because the kid's black sweetie the kid's black <laughs> is it mine yeah is, is it mine <laughs> he's black um du, du. <laughs> Yeah, if that happened, you'd probably be out, right? You're like, ah, that's not my kid. Um, Apparently, that's happen. a thing. That's a thing. It, it can. It's like a very recessive gene. Oh, yeah? Really, eh? Yeah. Like okay. if some dude, black dude named Gene fucks your wife, it's very recessive that, mm. yeah, your kid can okay. come out black. All right. Um, no, there are there have been instances of two white people having kids, and the kid comes out like black or Asian really? or whatever, and it's mm. like a... A recessive, hard recessive gene. Yeah. A very, very hard, hard yeah, recessive hard. gene. <laughs> Hard. Uh, so I saw something as well. All right, let's get back to it. Vaxxed people can actually spread the virus worse than non-vaxxed people because this, these vaccines don't actually kill the virus in the host. Uh, they just uh, prevent it from doing uh, lots of damage. So it's more likely to mutate with these vaccines uh, because of that. It doesn't actually kill it. It just it still allows it to stay in the host. It just uh, And you can still give it mm -hmm. and get it. It's retarded. So I saw a thing that said uh, the Delta variant is more transmissible than Ebola, the common cold, wow. or chicken pox. Wow. And I thought in my head, yes, but <laughs> Ebola sucks yeah. and has like a 50% mortality <laughs> yeah. rate. Yeah, exactly. Sure, it's more transmissible, <laughs> but it has a 0.1% mortality yeah. rate. Um. I saw an ad on Facebook for paid vaccine studies, up to twenty six hundred dollars compensation. Nice. So you thought about it? You're like, shouldn't oh, we be shit. doing the trials before we release the vaccines? Yeah. yeah. 
Like, I don't know. It's obviously probably a trial vaccine. It's not like these were for like COVID too. COVID vaccines. Wow. Okay. Experimental. Experimental. You're like, "Eh, well, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm not even going to take your brand name vaccine. I'm not going to take the president's choice vaccine and pray the no name, the Galen Weston, as they call it. No, (laughs) I'm not even going to take your Pfizer jab. Or your Moderna poke. No, you're, you want the Terry Crews. I want That's the, the Terry only one. Cruise, yeah, man. you want the Terry Crews. I really just think that I want a black guy to fuck me in the ass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure probably, that this is what it comes yeah. down to. And I want it to hurt a little. <laughs> I really want to feel it. This kid blew me, the judges, and all of them. <laughs> and I had to pause it. And I was like, is that not – am I crazy or am I just over-sexual and just phallicize yeah. everything, I guess? Uh, <laughs> uh, please, Elliot, put your tits away, man. Fuck. 11,500 adverse effects, adverse effects to the vaccine in Canada. Can- Canada? Kennedy? Jesus, fuck. Kennedy. Canada. Kennedy. Only 3,000 serious out of 12,000, say. There's only been 26,000 deaths in Canada. Yeah, it's like... Out of 1.4 yeah. million cases. Yeah. What are we panicking for? But how for? many of those are comorbidities and how many of those are people over a certain age? 100%. they elderly? 100%. That would have died yeah, very exactly. soon anyways. Yeah. 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 Uh, 26,000 cases. Yeah. What was it at the beginning? 8 million unemployed? We're billions, 8 billion in debt now or something? Uh getting vaxxed with this fucking experiment and uh yeah. for twenty six thousand people yeah, exactly like honestly if my grandparents were alive rest in peace and they died from covid i would be like fuck them i'm still not getting the vaccine <laughs> no my grandma was a fucking angel she was the sweetest woman ever yeah. i loved her she died when i was like 15 so i barely remember her at all she was a fucking angel but they're old as fuck and my grandpa was a drunk and he'd probably get it and die yeah yeah um Old people die. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. That's their purpose. That's why you're old. That's to it's like die. all right, I'm old. All right, it's like I'm gonna die soon. Die! I see old people Let me driving just live and it shit. Up. I'm Let like, me just Whoa, live it up. You need to die. Yeah. Like you are yeah. way too old to be driving. You're gonna end up killing a family. Yeah. <laughs> like you need to fucking die. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, mandatory vaccines will create herd immunity and protect us from this very serious disease. Almost universal vaccine coverage has eradicated other diseases such as polio and tetanus. Yeah. Again, those diseases suck. <laughs> it would be those hilarious because they're, they're going to get to like 100% and they'll still be cases. Still spreading be cases. COVID. Yeah, they'll still be cases. Of and then COVID. it's like. And at that point, it's, it's just. Clown what are we town. doing? Clown town. What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> Who's that? Is that Drake? Drake, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, have you seen this Hezbollah thing? Have you heard of Hezbollah? Hezbollah? Not, not Hezbollah. No, no, no. No, no. Different topic. <laughs> Hezbollah is this little dwarf fighter. This little thing. Okay. It looks like a baby. Really? Have you not seen this? No, no. It's like two babies. But they're both like, he's 18. But he looks like he's three. And there, have you never seen this? No. Oh my god! It's hilarious. It's uh, sounds funny. He's got some sort of like Hezbollah, H A S. Okay, all not H E Z. Okay. No hard Z. Okay. Um, Hezbollah. 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 Yeah, he's uh, Hezbollah. he's like a little fighter. Nice. And he's like, he's so cute. <laughs> he looks like a little kid. It's hilarious. Look it up. So who does he fight? Does he fight other kids? Does he fight like a little? <laughs> his like coach. Hilarious. His coach. Uh, and then uh, who's, big. who's he then, fighting yeah, though other, other, yeah, is he kids, fighting babies, kids or punching babies okay. yeah he's my hero <laughs> he gets to legit fuck, fight babies it's the fucking best thing ever man I love it I've always wanted to punch Goes a baby he fights babies uh, I could take like a thousand of hymns in a fight he's so small <laughs> It's adorable. Or is it where he fights adults, the other 18-year-olds, and they just, and they just, just smash him. him? Yeah, He's 0-400. <laughs> um, yeah, he's very, he's so cute. It's adorable. And he wears these, like... But who's he fighting? Other kids. No, it's There's cute. another, in the video, it's like two of them, and they, like, square up together, like actual <laughs> fighters. And it's, like, adorable, but they look like babies. Very weird. Hard to masturbate to. Uh, that sounds funny. I always finish. Look it up. 
It's very funny. Um, did you see this woman in the Philippines? She ordered Jollibee chicken. And they gave her a deep fried <clears throat> towel. Wow. <laughs> did you see this? No. A dish towel. Wow. Yeah. That's um, crazy. It was just like, she like tried to take a bite. And it was hard. It was battered. It's like, you know what's an even better markup? Towels and onion <laughs> yeah. rings. That's the best. No, no, please. Keep it uh, better. We need more better. It's honestly more expensive than onions. I Towels think. are, yeah. no, they have a higher price yeah. point for sure than onions. <laughs> more better on that uh, towel. Uh, very, not, no. Not good there. No, my booty. Um, and she got a towel and she tried oh, to wow. like take a bite and it was too hard. So then she tried to cut into it and then the batter came off and it was just a fucking a dish rag. Yeah. Dish rag. A blue dish rag. Deep fried dish. Deep rag. fried too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she fed it to her kids. It's tough in the Philippines, man. It's like yeah. eat it, eat it. You're hungry. Yeah. Eat the dish rag. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So in Canada, that shit happens. You're a millionaire. Yeah. In true. the Philippines, now she owns the Jollibee. That yeah. was the no. Now she's just <laughs> selling deep fried dish rags. She owns all of Jollibee. You get the deep fried <laughs> dish rag. You get the deep fried dish rag. <laughs> I can't do accents. I'm sorry. I can't. Filipino is not one. And did you know, speaking of deep fried dish rags, that McDonald's is the fifth largest real estate agents, yeah. landowners yeah. in the world? Yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, that's their business. Yeah. That's crazy. Land. Yeah, exactly. Every franchisee yeah. re- pays rent to rent and a franchise fee. So not only are they the biggest landowners, owners, but they also have the highest... Uh, like a rental uh, uh, capacity, like the most rentals, functional rentals, because every franchisee pays rent to them too. Yeah. So there's no empty properties. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Jolly Bee, not so much. 85% of McDonald's stores are franchise. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, I love McDonald's. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> I love it. God damn, it makes my tummy feel sick after, though. I love it. I like McDonald's more than I like Porch Pussy at my sister's place. I'm an only child, so it turns out I was at the wrong house. (laughs) Uber Eats. Uber Eats Porch Pussy. (laughs) So I love in every action movie, uh, it's always following, like, the, the the general's daughter, you know, or it's like, it's like following the yeah, uh, it's true. the FBI agent's son, you yeah. know, it's like that. That's boring. <laughs> you know who I want to see? I want to see the drywaller's daughter. I want to see what she's up to. Yeah. I want to see the uh, the fisherman's son's story. You know, the Cape Cod <laughs> fisherman's story. Uh, it's always the general's daughter. We've seen that before. Yeah, it's got to be someone important, right? Someone important, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. I want to see the heroin addict oh. and see what he's going through. <laughs> like the grocery, what did I say? The grocery store clerk's daughter. <laughs> 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 she's given hand jobs in alleyways. Like, that's, yeah. she's lived, man. They're like, you got to work an extra shift, and then he has to work the extra shift, and then when he does that, something happens. His daughter gets kidnapped. Right, his daughter's and then, kidnapped, and he's like, uh, yeah. well, I mean, she's gone. I don't have the exactly. skill set to deal with this. Yeah. Call 911. Yeah. Um, <laughs> love the Equalizer, great movie. Yeah, pretty Denzel good. Washington, yeah. Chloe Grace Moritz, great movie. Did you ever watch the original Equalizer series? No. And now it's we talked. Yeah, about this. we talked it's about this. Queen yeah. Laquita. It was like originally a white guy was the Equalizer, and right. then it was Denzel, right? right. But Denzel was... wasn't considered woke woke enough so they're like all right instead of just having a black guy let's have a black woman right the so they have queen latifah like right. anyone can beat up queen latifah right like let's you know let's not, not if she sits on you, yeah. if she pins you down it's over yeah i guess so yeah. but otherwise like imagine a situation though where it's very intense though right yeah. it's a very intense it's like oh man I've got this bank it's being <laughs> like held up by five it's people queen like, all out of breath where's queen shit? latifah yeah. call queen that's the last <laughs> Of all the people in the city and the world, it's like, call, call her. Call the call queen. queen Latifah. I'd prefer Freddie Mercury, queen. <laughs> like Denzel, fucking, it's yeah. like, okay, yeah, I can, I'd get that. Like, right. Denzel's pretty tough. He's like a good, <laughs> queen I don't know, Latifah. he fulfills the, 
like badass, I guess, or tough guy kind of archetype. But otherwise, it's like, all right, let's call Queen uh, Latifah. Queen Latifah. <laughs> Somebody get Betty White. We're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Queen Latifah. Wow. Oh, man. Weirdly, yeah. in the holiday, was it the holiday? No, the last holiday. The holiday was a terrible movie. The last holiday, also a terrible movie where she's got cancer. She thinks he's got cancer. I have seen The Holiday. That with, movie like, with Cameron her. Diaz yeah, with or her, something. Yeah. Or no, The Last Holiday. Yeah, I think it's The Last exactly. Holiday. She's skiing and shit. Yeah, and she goes and does all these things. Right, and then, and then at she the doesn't end, have cancer. Yeah, there's yeah. some, you know, rich white guy who's, like, right. trying to make fun of her. And by the end, she shows him up. Sure. And, uh, and, and she's realizes the she's equalizer. Yeah. Yeah. Is she, uh, weirdly attracted to her in that movie. Never been with a black girl. Don't like black girls. <laughs> but uh, weirdly attracted to Queen Latifah. I don't know. I feel like she's the Pete Davidson of black women. She's very watered down. She's like, uh, is Pete Davidson black? Uh, Not in my books, no. Right. I'm going to see Suicide. He's more ghoul than he is black. He's so gross. Casper, the friendly goat. He had to get tattoos so you could see where he is. He's so fucking pale. I hate this guy. I'm going to see Suicide Squad tonight, and uh, I really hope I don't like his performance. Yeah. It's really gonna bug me yeah. if I. Uh, spoiler he, alert! Like you said before, I think he's. I think he dies first. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Kind of glad. Remember, I showed you that that picture where they were selling bleach, hair bleach, and using him from Suicide Squad to promote it to get people to pay like fifteen bucks for. A, he's on the cu- like the front of the a box of bleach, so people, it's like, oh, I, I want to bleach my hair to look like Pete Davidson in oh, Suicide God. Squad. It's like, who is the marketing person behind this? Like, no, that's such a... It's the same as boys. With, yeah. with the Smart Water, right? Have you seen? I He's was just going to say, you also showed yeah, me the yeah. Smart Water commercial. Exactly, yeah. Be smart. Yeah. Get Neil deGrasse yeah, Tyson. Him. Yeah, Get 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 uh, an academic. Yeah. So this means that Pete Davidson is both the spokesperson for Smart Water and the poster boy for dehydration. Yeah, he does look like he needs a glass of water. Yeah. Um, oh, he's so it's gross. Smart water. They got smart Pete water. Davidson. Stupid. Stupid water, Pete. I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. God, I hate that guy so much. I don't know why his face bugs me so much. Yeah. I really do. I want to see... That would be the ultimate fight. I'd love to see uh, Elliot Page and Pete Davidson fight. That would be a pretty even fight. I don't understand. Why does she have abs? She didn't have abs before. Yeah. It makes no sense. Has she been doing, like, I don't know, some hardcore workout, like P90X or something? Or <laughs> Yeah, P90X. X woman. Oh. Yeah. P90X She man. should sell a workout program. I mean, yeah, she looks or, great. sorry, he. He, he looks he, great. Sorry, sorry, he sorry, looks, sorry. He looks great. He looks great. He looks absolutely great with his six-pack abs. He they should have a workout. Great. Yeah. X... X Man, X Woman, something like that is the product P ninety X. XRP. Yeah, whole XRP. Yeah. XRP. And for those of you who uh, don't own XRP, you should invest in Elliot Page. Yeah. The El- the El- Elliot. I guess it's Elliot called XR She. Oh. <laughs> the Elliot Coin. Uh, good on him, man. I wish him all the best. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Um. I don't know why he's not. Like doing, like I said, OnlyFans, OnlyFans or selling yeah. selling those picks as NFTs. Like he could be making some cash doing that. I'm sure people would buy those. You know, some weirdos out there. <laughs> so one Not of like my us, coworkers but... told me that she's and she's very tiny and young looking. She told me that she sold videos of her feet to some dude she met on Tinder. Wow. Uh, 25 bucks a video, five minute videos, and she made $400 last summer. Wow. And she told me this, and I'm like, that's incredible. Like, I would. <laughs> so apparently on OnlyFans, too, you can also block your country or certain countries from being able to access it. So it's like, oh, okay. In Canada, only so in Europe. In Canada, can see you it. could show it, okay. Asia right. can see wow. it. Asia alone, like, there's oh, a billion man. of them motherfuckers, and they're wow. crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. Uh, in Japan, you know, they sell used kids' uh, underwear and vending machines. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So what, I booked a ticket. What the fuck? <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm on my way. Thanks. Uh... Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have any extra small? Ugh. Oh, weird. Yeah, uh, good. Asians are yeah. uh, weird. Um... <laughs> Ugh. Thailand, too. <laughs> You know how I know that this has nothing to do with, uh, with, with safety? Is that they sell masks in the TTC in vending machines. 
Yeah. That's how you know this has nothing to do with public safety. Yeah. If it was, they'd give them out for free. Exactly. Why are you selling masks for? Yeah, they're selling masks. Why are you profiting from this? Yeah. Like I said, I think last episode or two episodes ago, Pfizer made $33.5 billion since the start of the pandemic. Yeah. What are you profiting for? Yeah. Crushing it. But I have with fucking... their With their highly effective vaccine. Yeah. To yeah. such an effective Yeah. It's 94%. Product. 94%. That's less yeah. effective than condoms. Yeah. Which I also don't use. Yeah. So... Good luck on you, Pfizer. Or you can just, you know, pull out, right? Yeah. Which is, you know... <laughs> I'm going to pull out of this whole vaccine thing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And try to not yeah. get you pregnant. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, man. But uh, once again, thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, I hope you guys... Ooh, I love... Final thought. If you're double vaccinated and you wear a mask alone in your car... I mean, yeah. bravo. Bravo. You are a yeah. special beast, and uh, I hope you drive off the cliff. I really do. I hope your car explodes like Casino, um, and you're a fucking idiot. And I hope your unvaxxed kids give you the virus, and I hope you... Uh... And then they're promoting it like with the vaccine, you're not going to get hospitalized. Well, you're not going to die. Yeah. I saw this thing what? too. I saw this thing where this dude, or sorry, it was this woman. I might be getting it like whoever the characters are, but I think it was this saw woman. The tram talk. It was tram this talk, woman. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so it was this woman and her father who was 80 plus or something. He yeah. got the vaccine and then died because of the vaccine. Or sorry, he just died, you know, it was the vaccine. It's probably just because 80. he's old, anyways. Yeah. Like he was probably going to die at some point, anyways, right? He died, like whether it was the vaccine, but. He died, and they're like, "Oh, it was better that he got the vaccine," you know, like, and it's like, but it didn't matter because he died. died Like he died. At least he was protected from COVID. He got the vaccine and then died pretty much right away. But they're like, "Oh, but whatever, it was good that he got the vaccine." Still, it's like, so what? You told me about the one with Bell's palsy. Yeah, I was scared. That was in Toronto too. It was so close to home. I always, I watch that. I always go to that video on like CP City News or whatever sometimes just to watch that video and crack up sometimes just to be like, wow. Like, I can't believe. I this is still it. Yeah. recommend getting the yeah. vaccine. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. And they have dead people, like a guy who died right after getting the vaccine. Now they have him being like, ah, great happy. decision I made doing the vaccine. We're getting still the vaccine. happy we got Grandpa yeah. vaccinated. Yeah. We're glad that he can rest peacefully knowing yeah. he's safe. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. God. And they're all wearing masks <laughs> yeah. about his bedside. Yeah, <laughs> they're all exactly. maxed up, yeah, maxed exactly. up, yeah. maxed up. Yeah, vaxxed up, maxed up, taxed up. Maxed up, maxed up, taxed up. I pay my taxes. I wear my masks. I don't give a fuck. That's the faxes. Yeah, it's the sheeple anthem. The sheeple. The sheeple. Oh, my God. You keep my love locked down. My love locked down. Wave after wave. Wave. Uh. I love it. Oh, that was a good. That was a good one. I love it. Ended on a yeah. high note. Ah! Um, <laughs> thanks so much for listening, guys. Honestly, stay vaxxed, stay masked, enjoy the masquerade. Uh, we hope you guys are all staying safe from the point one percent. And uh, uh, thanks so much for listening. We appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, Say talk podcast. Send us some emails. Maddie will check them. Uh, dick pics. Everything is welcome, man. Uh, blacks, blues, no, 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 purples. Don't, please don't send those. Do it. Terry, please. Terry, if you're listening. <laughs> Maybe, Terry. I'd love to go on a cruise with you. We gotta be vaccinated. You know Terry right. Cruz is vaccinated. Of course. He's so big it took four vaxes. Yeah, like definitely. eight Filipino nurses to yeah, administer it. Definitely. Um, as always, we don't want to offend anyone, but some people are only happy when they're offended. In which case, we're glad we can make you happy for just a little bit. Thanks for listening. Episode 11, it's my lucky number. 11-11 is my birthday. You guys can send me gifts. Uh, remember, there's two Josh Say Talks. Make sure you kill the wrong one. <laughs> um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, Maddie, love your work. Hate your fucking hours. Until next week, peace, love, and good night. Peace.